As the third COVID-19 wave kicks off its campaign against children, countries are scrambling to vaccinate the youth and prevent a repeat of the horrors of what Delta brought upon the world. In USA, 23 million children aged 5 to 11 have already been vaccinated, while talks of further and rapid vaccination drives have become the centre of a raging debate. In Singapore, more than 100,000 children aged 5 to 11 have received their first dose of vaccine, while Hong Kong government has approved Sinovac vaccine for children as young as 5. Meanwhile, Europe has greenlit Pfizer vaccines for children aged 5 years and above. On 3rd January 2022, India gave the go-ahead to co-vaccine for children aged 12 to 18 years. Over 3.4 crore children aged 15 to 18 years have received the first dose of the COVID vaccine. On this episode, we have with us Dr. D.R. Rai, former Secretary General IMA and a senior family physician. So, sir, what is your viewpoint on the vaccination? Should children under the age of five be vaccinated? It is a very controversial question because our task force in India, our co-vaccine peoples have and done the, medic- the the vaccine trial on the children also and they found very satisfactory but still they are not allowed to the given they have taken they have uh, tested from 12 to 18 years but the government has allowed only from 12 15 to 18 years of age and from 15 to 18 years of age also 3.5 crore uh, children have been uh, uh, adults have been vaccinated but government is still thinking as you have rightly told in the, your beginning that in America, in Brazil, there they have started the vaccinating the persons from 5 to 11 also and 11 to 18 also. But Indian, our government, our ICMR and our task force has still not given any permission, though they have made the, they have done the trials of that one. So, sir, uh, what would you recommend to the government? like if they should start this trial for five and above following the example of other countries seeing the scenario of today in the europe and in the globe i think the government should also start the vaccination to the children's about 12 years at least from from to 18 years not from 15 to that because in that way we will be saving a lot of population and every even the parents will be also very happy government should definitely think on that uh, and the second thing is already they have uh, they have done the trials and they have received the satisfactory ans- uh, results also. So I, I mean the, the best is the ICMR which can tell us when they are going to give it. So what about the dose of the vaccine? Will the same dose of vaccine be given to the children as the adults? Chikaji, as far as the dose is concerned, the dose to the adult is not the same dose which will be given to the children. If we consider uh, from uh, 5 to 11, then we can say one third of the dose of the adult will be given. And if we say about 12 years, then one tenth of the dose is to be given. Because same dose cannot be given. The, patient, the children may have some reactions also with that. So talking about the reactions, what are the side effects that children are experiencing after taking vaccines? You know, uh, any any vaccine is once the any vaccine is given to the children, there are few si- few uh, uh, side effects comes. That is the induration at the site of injection, little fever, some drowsiness, sometimes some drowsiness, and sometimes pain is there. And these symptoms automatically um, fade, and within two three days, the child the child is absolutely normal. If the fever persists or if swelling has then they should report to the uh, doctor and they should find out the reason of that also. Okay, so there is no need to scare? No. The best way I will say this disease is definitely a very disastrous for humanity but we have to be cautious not the panic. Panicky is going to create a lot of problems but if we are cautious, precautions are being taken, nothing to worry. As we have fought wave 1, wave 2, we will be in the position to win on the wave 3 also. So the message to the audience is don't be panicked, no, be no, cautious. No, not at all. No need of panicky. Government is here to look after you. Doctors community is here mm-hmm. to look after you. And second thing is you are the only person who is going to look after yourself. More than a doctor and more than a 
government or more than paramedics and staff sir what according to you is the best treatment if children contract omicron the best treatment is what we say because the, if the child is having a fever only the thing which we can give is 10 to 15 mg per kg of body weight of the paracetamol that can be given from even it can be repeated after 4 to 6 hours also hydration has to be maintained properly and if the lukewarm water is being given to the children that would be nice and if some other symptoms comes then only we should consult the doctor and we should think of that otherwise self medication we are up. previously also we had told not to be uh, started and don't don't start any medicines which we have used in wave 1 or wave 2 of the uh, covid cases and so any diet particular diet that children should follow to keep themselves safe or maybe to develop immunity uh, as far as the diet for children of the age more than 5 and 10 years we can say yes first of all hydration is to maintain a light diet is to be given and even the even the children should be asked to have some exercise in the house because that is also thing we are going to give you immunity and green vegetables the best is the green vegetables broccoli etc something soup fresh soup fresh uh, juices or fruit juices are going to help to the children when medicines are not as much um, needed if the patient is Uh, mildly ill and having less symptoms so it is now very clear to us that the third wave of covid is impacting children what message do you have for the parents if we want to save our children the best way is first of all get yourself vaccinated fully and always follow the appropriate um, protocols of the covid unnecessarily don't go out of the house then and they take a nice light uh, nutritious diet which will help you also which will help your children also and don't allow the children to become a panicky also if you will encourage the children you will keep them busy in the house they can they, they can do some yoga they can do some skipping in the house also so which will also boost their immunity and they will be healthy because what i have seen in uh, last 2 years and this covid has uh, put the patient i mean the families in the uh, four walls people are not in the position to go out because of the lockdown because of the other conditions and even the offices are having work from home culture so people are not exposed to the sunlight which are and mentally they are literally they are broken mentally exhaust they have become and they are feeling lot of psychological problems and in post covid most probably which i am predicting i wish it should not be there we will be seeing lot of persons having a mental depression and anxiety in others and in the children's we have seen that children's are is going to have a, a bone effect bone bones will be affected very commonly because they are not exposed to the exercise they are not exposed to the Uh, um, playgrounds uh, activities and they are not going to the sunlight also so my my suggestion or my uh, message to the general public is don't be panicky don't be panicky try to face the covid bravely it is nothing going to happen and now one thing more you you think and i'm telling you not frightening now we will have to learn to live with the covid because it's not Uh, we in the near future we are not seeing that within 6 months or 8 months covid will be over it may again come in some other form so we have to be cautious and uh, encourage the children keep them busy and get them also vaccinated once the government starts vaccination to the children get them vaccinated but allow them to do some yoga in the house allow them to go on the rooftop let them enjoy the life and uh, have a nice a climate nice um, surroundings and nice atmosphere in the house which will boost your immunity